In this video, we're going to talk about the whole 2023 and what are the changes that happened and took place and what to look out for in 2024. 2023 has been pretty eventful to say the least. People are getting busier and busier and you might have noticed that a lot of their behaviors and things that they watch out and follow on social media has been slightly different. And so in the past, you might have been using strategies that have worked in 2023 and 2022 before, but you might be noticed that there's a lot of slowing down in 2023, not only financially, but also just people are getting busier, which makes it harder for the online businesses even more challenging because now you're fighting with a lot of noise and trying to grab people's attention. So today I'm going to give you an overview of all the lessons that I have learned in 2023, what went well and what I plan to do better. Hey there, if you're new to me, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach and I work with passionate female coaches to get seen, get hurt and get clients so that they can turn a passion for coaching into a profitable business. If you're new to this channel, you're going to find a lot of marketing tips, online business starting tips and also things that you might find it helpful in starting and growing your coaching business. So if you're new to me or you're coming back, welcome back and welcome to my world. So today we are going to talk about my 2023 overview and I'm going to share some of the insights that I have gained from 2023. I don't know if you noticed, but 2023 has been pretty eventful and people are going back outdoor a lot more and people sometimes are just tired of social media. So I'm going to divide my overview into three different sections, planning, community, and personal development. Every year I would sit down and look at the overview of my year in the past and planning out what's coming for the upcoming year. And that includes asking myself what went well over the year. What went well in my business over the year has been always been planning. And I love planning so much that my brain is structured in such a way that I need to have a list of to-dos and knowing that every single day I am tackling one specific area of my business so that I do not allow myself to struggle from the shiny object syndrome. Anytime that I have a new idea that comes up, I write it down and put it into my idea bank so that I can come back and visit it later. So planning out ahead in terms of when do I want to launch my course? When do I want to launch my one-on-one -on -one coaching? When do I want to schedule out my YouTube channel? And when do I want to plan ahead for my social media content? These structure way of making sure that I am on track in my business had helped me tremendously so that even when there is an event that comes up and threw me off on my track, on my schedule, then I can still have a reference of going back where I need to pick up. So planning has been helping me tremendously over the half decade in my business. And this is a routine and a ritual that I do every single year. So this has definitely been working well in 2023. I look ahead in my calendar. The second thing that re went really well is my community. My community has doubled over the year and continuously to grow. My YouTube channel had increased by 30% and my email list had increased by 70%. And one of the things that I always tell my students is that you want to grow a community where people love what you share. And there's always that quality versus number. And we also had a first annual retreat in November with all my mastermind members. And again, it has to do with providing values and making sure you show up consistently over the period of time so that your followers, your subscribers can know exactly when to expect that they can hear from you. And the consistency allows people to have have a way of consuming your content and knowing that they can trust and they can depend on you for getting there and showing up. What worked really well in 2023 is that consistency is still remaining the key. It's the key of how you get in front of your audience. It's the key of how you show up. It's the key how you serve your potential client and be there and be available so that when they need you, they know where to find you. 
Now, the third part, what went well, is my personal development. So as a coach, I continue to enroll myself into courses to advance my skill. One of the skills that I realized that I can help my clients with is copywriting. So I had enrolled in myself into copywriting courses, making sure that I can support my client in ways that they need the most. So those are the three areas that went really well for me in 2023. And I hope that it's giving you some idea of how you might want to review and look at your own business and divide them into categories so that you can have a detailed overview of what went well in each specific area in your business. Now let's talk about what I'm planning to do better. One thing that I realized from the community aspects of what went well is that a lot of my members needs continue ongoing support. One of the things that I'm planning to bring in is an ongoing support for all my clients, current clients and past clients, as well as new members into our community to have that ongoing support. Because let's face it, business is not something that you wake up one day and you excel in it and then that would be it. It's a continuous process and it's a journey that we can travel together. The second thing that I, I believe 2024, what I'm planning to bring in and I can be better is bringing more events and workshop. I'm excited. One of the things I'm going to uh, bring in, especially in January, is to get you to kickstart your visibility. And so I got something big coming. So mark your calendar on January 15. I have my first event in 2024. So keep your eyes peeled and I will tell you more about it. The third thing that I look forward to improve in 2024 is streamline and also better my communication. So. YouTube channel has been something that's been always on top of my mind. And I've been putting in more effort in 2023 to grow this channel. So in 2024, this is an area where I want to be better. So you'll see more consistent videos coming out to you on my YouTube channel. Okay, let's talk about what I have learned in 2023 in the market in general. So as I mentioned earlier, people are getting busier and busier. So you might find that you, it's harder and harder to capture people's attention. So when you create your content, you wanted to make sure that you're able to grab their attention, but even more importantly is you want to provide value. How do you as a coach provide values for your potential client? Nowadays with the age of AI, now people can do a lot of searches and most people will just go on Google and looking for things up. So if you're not putting yourself out there, whether it's a long form, like a video content or a blog post, if you're not putting yourself out there in that format, then you're missing out on the opportunity that people can come across your long form content. So I know a lot of coaches are focusing on the short form content, like on posting on Instagram or short videos, but essentially what you want to focus on is helping your client to grow. And by doing so, not only do you position yourself as the expert, you also position yourself as someone who really can demonstrate that you have the expertise in helping your client moving forward in area. And where do most people go? Most people go to either Google or nowadays with the AI, there's ChatGPT. And so you got to think about in your 2024 outlook, are you incorporating some of the AI elements into your business so that you can continuously helping your client grow? There's a difference between sellers and buyers. So if you're selling people, then that's really a short-term solution. You sell, it's one transaction or it's 1% at a time versus a buyer or a shopper mindset. It's more of a, I'm going to look around to find the product or the solution that I need. So in order to get out there and provide those values so that the shopper and the buyers can find your content to see the value of why they should be working with you, you need to start shifting your selling mindset into a buying mindset because the selling of, hey, I'm popping into your DM and I'm going to sell this one event to you, or I'm going to invite you to come and join me in a workshop, that strategy is no longer working. And you'll find people are getting turned off nowadays because that spamming in DM or just 
whole outreach and just even the connection, it doesn't feel very genuine. What you want to do is you want to shift your focus in 2024 to provide more valuable content, which include your videos, your blog posts. Those are going to be a long-term sustainable solution, especially if you have an online coaching business. Now, I would love to hear what have you learned from 2023 and what are you looking forward to improve in 2024? Comment down below. I would love to hear your insight. Maybe there's something else that you have learned that I did not mention and perhaps we can share that insight so that someone else can benefit from it. In the meantime, go out, go get them.